Okay, um, let's go into something that's very important, which is the most repeated topics in the West African Examination Council examinations, known as the SSCE. I'll talk about the subject chemistry. Chemistry is a course. Most people see it as a subject, but it's a course. Now, first of all, you must have to have a deep insight of the introduction. The introduction of chemistry. You must have to have a deep insight on the introduction. Introduction, you look at the pollution, look at corrosion, all right? Look at um, the nuclear chemistry. Ke chemistry is shared into, into four, anal uh, five analytical chemistry, nuclear chemistry, physical chemistry, organic chemistry, and, in and in inorganic chemistry. You must have to put your mind on these five parts of chemistry. All right? So, Put your stake on the fire part of chemistry, get the introduction known, know everything about the introduction, how scientists work, all right? How, who is a scientist, a scientist inquiry, what is a theory, what is an hypothesis, what is a law? How do they work? What steps do they take in working? Then you go on to matter, all right? In matter, you know their states of matter, know how, what they do, know they are changing. Okay, when they go in the phase transition, the change of state, when this, when liquid changes to solid, solid changes to gas, gas changes to plasma, plasma changes to this, how do they change? How do they undergo their changes? Take note of this, their chemical properties, physical properties, chemical changes, physical changes, examples of chemical changes, examples of physical changes. I take for example, chemical change, rotting fruits, changes that cannot be reversed, a physical changes, salt solution that can be reversed. Now, when you get a physical change, how can they be separated? That is how you get to the separation techniques. How can they be separated? All right? Now, you get to the separation techniques. How can they be separated? Which separation technique is used to separate what? You must have to identify that. The 15 separation techniques, you take note of what they can separate. Okay? Go deep, in fact. Know what and what they can separate. Get examples of things that they can separate. After the separation techniques, you enter into atoms. You enter into the atoms. Okay? That means the particles of matter. That's what I mean. You enter the atoms, molecules, and ions. In the atoms, you get to the protons, neutrons, and electrons. How does the proton behave? How does the electron behave? How does the nucleus behave? What is in the nucleus of the atom? That means you're focusing, the nucleus of the atom talks about the radioactivity. Okay, the nuclear chemistry, that's what it means. So you get to deep into that. Know what the proton is talking about. Know what the neutron is, electron is talking about. Who discovered the protons? Who discovered the neutrons? Who discovered the electrons? Who discovered the molecules? Who discovered the ions? All right, that's the protons that we know, N.S. Rutherford, electrons, J.J. Thompson, the neutrons, James Chadwick, the molecules, Jane Perrin, the, the ions, Michael Faraday. Now, put your mind in this. Know the types of ions, types of molecules, the, uh, the subatomic atoms, types of molecules. All right? Now, if we take note that the number of atoms tells you the name of the molecule because the atoms coming together forms the molecule. So, take note of these things. Go deep in these things, the atom molecules and ions, of which we know they are the particles of matter. Now, get to the compounds. All right, these are the classes of matter. Compound elements and mixtures. Okay, matter can be classified into compound elements and uh, mixtures. Take note of the elements. Who was the first to talk about the element? Take note of your periodicity of the element, the periodic tables. Atomic numbers. The atomic numbers is the way that the elements are being arranged in the periodic table, according to the atomic numbers. Okay, take note of what Ivanovic Dimitri Mendeleev said about the atom. Uh, about the elements, sorry. Take note of their symbols, according to Benzelius. You know, some are gotten from their Latin names, example like natrium, which is sodium, and A. So take note of these names. Take note of the electronic configurations. Take note of their orbitals. Which electron is in which orbital? Take note of the shapes of the orbitals. Okay, according to the atomic numbers, that's how you can arrange in the orbital. Take note of these things. Now, take note of the compounds. Inside the compounds, you take note of chemical reactions. Take note of chemical reactions, what they show and what they do not show. 
take notes of those things. Put your mind, place your mind in the, the, the laws that binds the formation of a reaction, the formation of a compound. They are called the laws of chemical combinations. Know the laws. Know who profounded them. What did they talk about compounds? Go to the types of compound. All right? Go to the types of compound. Now, before you go to the types of compound, get to the types of reactions. Because it is the reaction that gives you the type of compound. The type of reaction gives you the type of compound. What is the chemical reaction? What type of reaction leads to what type of compound? Take note of these things. Then you come to a mixture. What is a mixture? Characteristics of a mixture. Examples of mixtures. Which substance and which substance can give which mixture? How can the mixtures be separated? Because in the mixture, you must have to still go to separation techniques because mixtures can be separated. Now you take note of differences and similarities between compound elements and mixtures. Take note of differences between compound and mixtures. Similarities between compounds and mixtures. Go to atom mode formula and equation. Okay? In the atom mode formula and equation, take note of chemical formulas. What is a chemical formula? What is a chemical symbol? You know, when chemical formulas come together, they form molecular formulas. What is a molecular formula? How do you solve percentage mass? How do you solve mole ratio? All right? How do you solve Avogadro's number? How do you solve moles, number of moles? How do you balance an equation? How do you solve empirical formula? How do you get molecular formulas? How do you get a, 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 a formula masses, formula formula masses. How do you get these things? Take note of these things. Alright, you get to the kinetic theory of matter. Kinetic theory of matter. What is the kinetic theory of matter talking about? What are the things that shows the evidence of the kinetic theory of matter? Okay, which, which thing and which thing shows the evidence? Which laws support the kinetic theory of matter? With diffusion, osmosis, dialysis, and Brownian motion. Take note of these things. When and when do they come in? What and what do they talk about? How do, how do gases move? Then you're getting into the kinetic theory of gases. Take note of them very well. How do the gases behave? Now, which laws support the gas laws that comes to the gas laws? Which are the Boyle's law, the Charles law, Graham's law of diffusion, that, the Dutch's law of partial pressure, uh, 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 Gilusak's law of combined volumes, and so on. Take note of these laws. And take note of the explanations according to the kinetic theory of gases. What do they explain? They know how to state the laws and solve. How do you solve these laws? How do you solve the gas laws, the Boyce law, the Atom law, how do you solve if, if given a question? Take note of the idea gas equation. How do you solve the idea gas equation? It's a very simple thing. Just take note of them. All right? Then you enter into carbon and its compound. Take note of the shapes. Take note of the allotropes of carbon. Allotropes are when elements exist in different physical states. Take note of the allotropes of carbon, their shapes, their uses. What, is, what are the allotropes of carbon used for? What are the allotropes of carbon used for? Their characteristics. What and what do they do? Take note of these things. That will lead you to organic chemistry. Because organic chemistry is a study of carbon, of, uh, 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 of, 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 of carbon compounds. So take note, to lead to organic chemistry. Under the organic chemistry, you take note of crude oil, petroleum. Know everything about the petroleum, the types of petroleum, the light and sweet, the medium and, and saw, you know, the, 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 the heavy and bitter types of petroleum. Take note of crude oil. Which, 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 which instrument is used in measuring crude oil? All right? Which, how, how do you, which instrument is used for drilling? Which product comes after which product? Take note of their fractions. How do substances come out of crude oil? How do they come out? Based on what? Based on their boiling point. Fractions are based on their boiling point. Take note of those things. Then you enter into hydrocarbons. The hydrocarbons, you know, you know how hydrocarbons can be decomposed into what, what, and what. Okay? We have the alkanes, the alkanes, the alkynes. Take note of their molecular uh, uh, formulas. Take note of how this can be gotten from this. How alkene can be gotten from alkene. How alkene can be gotten from alkyne. Then you, get, you come to the alcohol group, which are the alkanols. 
take note of the molecular formula, take note of the types of alcohol, take note of the IUPAC names of the alcohols, take note of their chains, how to draw their chains, how many hydrocarbons, how many carbon atoms we give, how many hydrogen atoms. Okay, take note of these areas. All right, take note of the types of hydrocarbon, the aromatic and the aliphatic. How are they gotten? All right, take note of organic substances that bring sense to plants. You know, you know uh, when it comes to organic substances, the, the organic substance is a, is a study of plants and animals. All right, because any, anything that has carbon is termed to be organic. And it is organic, it's time to be natural. So take notes of these areas. Do not forget to place your mind on carbohydrate. The classes of carbohydrate, the molecular formula of carbohydrate, the structural formulas of carbohydrate. Then take note of isomerism and isomers. The existence of these compounds in different ways. Take note of isomerism, take note of isomers. All right? Take note of this, how, how does carbohydrate evolve? The simplest form of carbohydrate, the, decompo the decomposition of carbohydrate, the fermentation of carbohydrate, what is fermentation and so on. You enter into protein. Take note of the isomers, the catalytic ways of protein. Take note of them. Enter into fat and oil, which are called the lipids. Get an inductive study of the lipids. Then you get to organic chemistry too, you still talk about the crude oil again. Thermal cracking. Cracking. Then you enter into the applied chemistry, petrochemistry. All right? You take notes of this. Then you go to hydrocarbons again. You take note of the Levy structure. Levy structure. Identifying bonds with dots. You go to the Levy structure. Take note of this Levy structure. All right? So put your minds in this thing. Then you come back and go to electrolysis. What are these love electrolysis? How to solve electrolysis? How many uh, 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 columns will give you one for a day? Take note of these issues, of this area. Take note on how to solve it. First law of electrolysis, second law of electrolysis, the laws of electrolysis. Take note of these things. Then you come to oxid oxidation and reduction. All right? Take note of the acidic ox uh, 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 titrations. Oxidation and reduction. Take note of oxidation and reduction. What is oxidation? What is reduction? In oxygen, what is oxidation? In hydrogen, what is oxidation? In uh, 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 hydrogen, what is reduction? In oxygen, what is reduction? Take note of their titrations, how they can be titrated. Take note of how to balance their equations. Then you can acid base and salts. Take note of titrations, the types of acids, uh, 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 classes of acids, which acid can react with which. Which of, which of them can be soluble? They trace the, the definitions of an acid, Brosted lorry, Arrhenius, and uh, G.N. Lewis. Take note of the acid. When is the acid termed to be correct? When is the acid applicable? Then you take note of bases. The same Lewis bases, Arrhenius bases, uh, 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 G, uh, Brosted lorry's bases. Take note of these bases. Then the salt. What and what forms salt? When and when types of salt, the, 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 the salt that are soluble, bases that are soluble, the types of salt, which salt can form with salt? Which salt is strong? Which one is weak? Take note of the types of salt, how they form, how they react with water. Take notes of these areas. Then you come into solubilities. What are solubilities? How can water be soluble? How can substances be soluble? All right? Water, we know, is a universal solvent. All right? And because it can, uh, it can accept a, a, a most number of solutes in them, that's why it's called universal solvent. Now, which one and which one can be soluble in water? As you're getting the water, you enter into the molecules of water, shapes of molecules. The shapes of molecules. Take note of the shapes of molecules. Examples. Each shape, take note of their examples because they can give to you. Take note of their examples. It is not too late. Just take note of their examples. Okay? Then periodicity of the elements. Periodicity of the elements. The names of every group of elements. What happens when atomic number is increasing? Definitely ionization energy is increasing. So what's ionization, what is ionization energy? 
What is a valence electron? What is the lattice of electron? What is electron cloud? What is a positron? What is an isoelectron? What is an antineutrino? Take notes of these areas. Make sure you put your mind in these areas. These are the most repeated things, repeated topics that the SSC or that the WIAC will set, will be set from. They cannot set outside these topics I mentioned for you. So as you put your mind in these topics, definitely you come out with an A in chemistry. Thank you very much and God bless.